are headed back from Biltmore is it Forest. We are in sorry, Biltmore Village. Um and it's gonna want us to take a left here. I don't know if it's gonna make it across this road or not. I can't enable autopilot, so I'm gonna have to do it for it. But um this is gonna take these type of roads back to Biltmore Park, which is a shopping um, plaza, if you will. Uh, it has REI in it, so we're gonna go visit REI. This uh, it's kind of like a standard drive, if you will, from someone that lives right here that wants to go to REI. And so, so this car pass, this car passes. We're gonna go out. Okay. <laughs> See how it does. See these blinkers to confuse his traffic. Um, you gotta see the speed limit change. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna try and make this a zero intervention drive. We're gonna try. Good phantom break right there. Not sure what for. Shadows is the only thing I think. I, I'll put a note if there's anything else in the video. I honestly, should go ahead and get in the right lane. idea that it's just kind of hovering in the left lane because what it's going to do is turn its blinker on and I might lose my chance out of zero innovation self, self drive and when I mean zero I mean like don't touch the wheel at all there's zero there's disengagements which is when I turn the wheel and the brakes disengages and then there's interventions where I flip the speed up and down where I change the lanes and that type of stuff so we're gonna see. It's not going to change lanes, is it? Now turn right onto Overlook Road. No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Again, navigation ruined it. It won't turn off the blinker.
Okay. I look <laughs> like a moron. Okay, again. It completely messed up. It just didn't turn until the very last minute and completely screwed it up. Okay. Oh. Let's see. Instead of using this, navigate the REI. Oh, it's going to take the same route, isn't it? Navigate to REI. Okay, where are we? Boatmore Park. This is where we want to go. I'm gonna wait until it gets through this intersection, then we'll navigate to it. And if the car won't do that, I will. Um, okay. Okay. Hey. Alright guys, you can obviously hear the frustration in my voice and I'm obviously, I'm, it's frustrated. I was hoping this, I've yet to get a single zero intervention drive on beta 9. Or disengagement drive for that matter. Um, so it's really frustrating. I thought we were going to have it. But, um... Not the case, thanks to navigation. So, uh, again, I'm gonna keep on pointing out is the biggest flaw of Tesla full self-driving right now is not full self-driving, it is poor navigation, poor mapping. Which, fortunately, is the easiest thing to fix, relatively speaking. Vision, what they're doing, what I know about it is incredibly difficult. Mapping, every company and their mother is doing mapping. So, I don't suspect that's going to be a hard problem to fix. Google's been doing it for years. Apple's doing it. Microsoft's doing it. But every company is doing mapping. And I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be able to just turn um, or get it in the appropriate lane beforehand. And turn on the blinker. When you're in the left lane, far too... And it's trying to get over in the left lane again. Because it's going slower. Even though it has to take a right lane. These are the nav issues that are causing all the issues with full self-driving. Like, what's the car going to do on the previous situation where it just can't turn? It's just going to cut in front of another car so it can make that turn? Like, that's... One, I think, is illegal. Um, two, it's highly dangerous. So it, it can't do that. And obviously I forgot to hit the camera button right there. But those type of situations um, are what I'm looking for to be fixed before uh, I would consider the camera, the, the download button to be appropriate for everyone else. Let's see what this does for us here. Okay, good turn. A little bit hesitant still. Could speed up a little bit more here. So we switched that up a little bit. We want to get our REI, um, so it's going to be a little bit different route for us. But still, same type of roads. In 500 feet, turn left onto Olmsted Drive. Now turn left onto Olmsted Drive. Okay, we're good, it's creeping. It can definitely go. Like, there's nothing in the way. Come on. Okay, let's get around this car. 
Very good job going around cars in the road. I was very good at that. Get some brush in the road. We'll see how it handles this. It's getting out of the way of the brush. Good. It's good to go. Again, I'm not sure why it turns the wheel like that. It's an interesting trait of Beta 9. Will it go around the debris? Yes, it will. It's what we want to see. In 500 feet, turn left onto East Skank Crescent. She needs to turn right, right here is our parking lot. So, as you can tell, I'm very frustrated. That totally could, should have made it. If it was in the right lane earlier, if it got into the right lane earlier, that would have been a zero intervention drive. But because it did not do that, because it decided we're gonna turn at the last possible second, um, then, uh, it, it failed uh, and of course I intervene again so this is a two intervention drive I believe I will correct that if that's not the case and the video title of course but um, uh, I'm very disappointed in that and I'm hoping we'll see see that improve the next update uh, drastically I, I think everyone is saying navigation is the primary issue right now uh, full self driving has gotten so good that navigation is now a crush so um, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next video. As always, appreciate you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.